embark on a journey through the bizarre and bewildering world of history's strangest inventions. From the inexplicable to the downright absurd, these creations push the boundaries of human imagination. Join us as we explore the oddities that have emerged from the minds of inventors throughout the ages. Mass Shaving Machine No longer confined to the factory floor, the assembly line hit barber shops in the 19th century with this mass shaving machine. The unusual invention allowed barbers to shave a dozen men simultaneously. Anything for efficiency, right? Urban Window Baby Cage Dubbed by Time as one of the 50 worst inventions, the Urban Window Baby Cage was used in the 1930s to give infants plenty of fresh air. Doctors believed that this would boost youngsters' immune systems and help them stay healthy. However, the health benefits may have been nullified by the obvious risk of dangling a baby several stories above a city street. An automatic tip requester, invented in 1955 by Russell E. Oakes, this device saw hotel bellhops as its key market. It would say no sale if the tip was too low. Rubber Bumper The first few decades of the 20th century were a dangerous time to be on the road. Some years, car crash deaths surpassed 20,000 people, and injuries were in the hundreds of thousands. Inventor A.J. Grafham tried to make things a little safer with this 1930s bumper, a sponge rubber seat that promised to protect pedestrians from injuries if they were hit by a speeding automobile. Spaghetti Aid Eating a bowl of pasta got much easier when this spaghetti aid was invented. It would wind spaghetti noodles around the fork in seconds. It's hard to imagine that this novelty invention had any staying power, but it returned to the market in recent years, complete with a battery-powered upgrade. Beating Breasts, a 1963 pair of artificial breasts from Japan. The device had a built-in heartbeat and was meant to be a sleeping aid for very young children. Chain Smoker if one cigarette didn't offer enough of a nicotine fix, smokers could inhale from 10 cigarettes at once with this chain smoker device. The device might appall doctors today, but in the mid-20th century, physicians were proponents of smoking. Dinosphere Inspired by one of Leonardo da Vinci's fantastical ideas, British inventor John Purvez created this mono-wheel vehicle in the early 1930s. Drivers could hit speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, but may have gone head over heels if they tried to brake hard. The Straw Hat Radio, invented by an American in 1931, this is a portable radio stored in a straw hat. It never did make waves. You might blame a massive depression. We blame the choice in material. Massage Helmet. In the 1960s, you didn't need to visit a spa to get a relaxing head massage. You could slip on this massage helmet for an air-powered scalp rub down. This invention is still available today, albeit in more modern, portable forms. Siamese Dancing Shoes Got two left feet? These Siamese dancing shoes, specially designed for ballroom dancing, might fix that problem. They were featured in the spoof Better Living Catalog in 1981, potentially as a joking way to help couples stay in sync on the dance floor. Brush and Shine Mr. Ted Spence, engineer of the Los Angeles Brush Manufacturing Corp., demonstrates the new hairline brush in Los Angeles, California, January 12, 1950. The brush is constructed to fit a bald head's contour, with bristles for brushing the sideburn area and a felt pad to gently massage the exposed scalp on the top. Family Bicycle The whole family could enjoy the pleasures of a bike ride with inventor Charles Steinlauf's historical machine, which included spots for two people to pedal, one person to ride in front, and even a dedicated seat for a seamstress to continue her sewing work on the go. Four-person bicycles are still available today, but you might have to look far and wide for one that includes a sewing machine. Amphibicycle. 
Pesky lakes and rivers didn't have to interrupt the carefree bliss of bicycling in the early 1900s. This amphibicycle allowed them to keep going over water. Today's water bikes promise high performance, excellent balancing capabilities, and maneuverability around tight turns. Horse gas mask. A docile horse wears a gas mask as a precaution against gas attacks on March 27, 1940. It was developed by Our Dumb Friends League, a humane society in London, England. Duplex hand scale. Housewives could clear out the measuring cups from their cupboards and use this duplex hand scale for all their culinary needs in the 1950s. The plastic spoon could weigh whatever was put in it using the scale in the handle. Most of today's hand scales are not for baking, but for travelers looking to avoid excess luggage fees when flying. Anti-Bandit Briefcase This anti-bandit bag would release its contents all over the ground if a thief tried to steal it. It was perhaps a less frightening theft deterrent than a similar bag of the time, which would release a smoking chemical vapor if someone tried to snatch it. EE e. Baby Carrying Device Invented in 1937 by the hockey player Jack Milford, this carrying device allowed him and his wife to carry their baby on ice. Snow protectors. A Canadian invention from 1939, this plastic contraption offered protection for the face in snowstorms. Neck brush. Five-year-old Tim Gregory wears under protest a brush that cleans a child's neck without the use of soap and water in Los Angeles. Califrontalers, January 12, 1950. The plastic collar brush will dry clean the youngster's neck thoroughly as he plays. The brush was developed by the Los Angeles Brush Corp at a mother's suggestion. Motor wheel. A Swiss engineer in Arles, France on his way to Spain in his motor wheel. A motorcycle with a wheel which runs on a rail placed inside a solid rubber tire. September 1st, 1931. Glowing tires. A woman adjusts her stocking by the light of the new Goodyear illuminated tires. The tire is made from a single piece of synthetic rubber and is brightly lit by bulbs mounted inside the wheel rim. Goodyear intended to produce the tires in a variety of colors. 1961. Yodel meter. Before the music world had auto-tune, there was the yodel meter. The device, photographed circa 1925, could measure the pitch of a singer's voice. Bike tire used as a swimming aid invented by Italian M. Goventosa di Udine. Maximum speed, 150 kilometers per hour. Radio stroller. Stroller equipped with a radio, including antenna and loudspeaker, to keep the baby quiet. USA, 1921. 